My name's Larry and I'm with Under the Bridge Flies and I'm going to tie up a northern midge here. Um, it looks like a caddis type midge. It's actually a pretty neat little pattern, but real easy to tie. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to get over a cold, so you have to excuse me for that but um this is daiichi 1130 uh light wire caddis hook this is a size 18 that i'm using um you can tie these down into 2022s if you wanted to but i'm going to start mine i'm going to put a little hot spot on the bottom of this fly um, the normal pattern doesn't call for it but it really looks good on this fly i have to say so I've been uh, trying them a little bit different things and I'm just going to bring that thread down and just bring it back up and go ahead and go on up a little ways with it. Um, that's all we're going to do so we'll just we'll finish that real quick and get that orange out of the way and move on to a black 8-0. And we're going to start it behind the eye here and just go ahead and bring that black on down. Uh, get down there, get rid of that tag and go on around the bend of your hook. And you want to stop just, you know, leave, you want to leave that orange showing real good. So we're going to use a uh, dubbing uh, Wapsi Superfine Black. Um, any black fine dubbing will be work good. Um, I like this Wapsi, it really clings to the thread pretty good, so you don't have to work it a whole lot. And we're just going to get that in there and start moving it right back up towards the eye of the hook. And we want to stop to where. We still got, you know, about a quarter of the way to go there. And I'm just going to reposition my hook there a little bit so it's easier to see it. Now, you can put, uh, we're going to put hopper legs in on each side or you can use uh, feathers on each side, something to create some legs. I'm using uh, some super hair, actually. And I'm just going to cut me a piece of this super hair off. I'm going to fold it in half and snip that and then I'm just going to fold that in half again. I'm trying to get three legs basically is all I'm doing so I'm going to, that's just a personal preference of what I'm doing so you can do more or less whatever you want to do. Um, but once I get those in there. And I'm just going to try to line them up halfway close. And I'm just going to tie in on each side. Get a couple wraps around it and get it where I want it. And once I like the position of where it's at, I'm just going to throw a couple more quick wraps there and snip that off. Grab a hold of it and move it right onto the other side. And do the repeat that again. And I want those, you know, going towards the back and down a little bit. So once you get them to where you like them, just go ahead and tie them in real good and snip off all of your extra. Clean up your head a little bit. Now you want to grab you a little bit of deer hair. cut me off a little section here um, don't need a whole lot on this um, that's probably twice as much as I need but it's just easier to stack in a little bit bigger clumps so I'm going to go ahead and throw that in the stacker alrighty once you get her stacked Pull it out there and make sure you pull it out sideways so you mess it up and 
That's what I get for playing around, huh? Try that again. These actually only take about two minutes. These only actually take about two minutes to tie. They're real fast ties. I mean, if you, especially if you're a beginner, you know, fly tire, this is a good pattern, but see how much I got there and I don't, I don't need near that much. I mean, we're just gonna pull out, you know, that's more than enough just to, so I want that to go just past the bend of my hook. Once I get where I think I like her, then I'm gonna throw a couple quick wraps around. And we're just gonna build us a little base right here. And then we're gonna take a black hackle, and I'm using uh, Whiting's Farm black out of one of my 100 packs. Um, you can use a saddle hackle or something if you have it you are just going to wrap this around this is only going to get wrapped around like two times just to create some legs here so we're just going to go around a couple times real quick grab a hold of it again go ahead and tie that in get you three or four wraps around there where that's not going to you're not going to do that snip off your tag in Grab a hold of your deer hair there and lift it up and go around the eye right there in front for a little bit. And your hair should be standing up pretty good there. So go ahead and whip finish while you got it in there. Go ahead and get rid of your string. Now grab your deer hair and pull straight forward. And put your scissors straight up and down parallel and just snip and that's going to give you a head just like you would on a caddis fly. And do a little trim in there. If you got some strays, you know, you can clip them out if you want, you know, depends on how pretty you want your fly, I guess. But that's it. That's the fly. It's over. That is just a regular northern midge. And like I said, we put a little hot spot on her. So, um, you can trim them legs down, you know, however long you want them. You don't have to have them that long. I mean, I usually don't keep mine that long, so I'll probably trim these down just a little bit. But <laughs> there it goes. But anyway that is a northern midge real easy pattern to tie um, you can tie it with or without the hot spot like i said i think that hot spot looks good on this here fly so um i appreciate y'all watching my videos i hope you continue to watch them um, check out my facebook page under the bridge flies check out my website under the bridge um, hope you enjoy the video hope you continue watching thank you have a great day